Jeremiah reveals to us the life of the pre-exile Jews. Ignoring their divine heritage, they were indulging in the grossest immorality and idolatry. Although the approaching Babylonian threat was imminent, they stubbornly insisted that Jerusalem could never fall. After all, it was God's home address. He lived in the temple just down the street. And by their attitude, they showed they were using the God of the universe like an idol, a good luck charm. They refused to pay attention to the dire warnings of Jeremiah and finally in their stubbornness brought devastation on themselves. Lamentations records God's judgment that fell on Judah as a result. The sorrow and anguish expressed in the book is the direct result of Israel's refusal to repent. Yet out of this grief, there is the hope of spiritual renewal. This lesson imprints itself on our hearts as we apply these books to ourselves. Our God is constantly working in us to bring about spiritual renewal and growth as we listen to his word and obey it. Perhaps the most practical message of Jeremiah for us, however, is its insight into living by faith. Faced with an idolatrous, unheeding people, Jeremiah pressed on for the glory of God and gives us a marvelous example of how the just shall live by faith. With no one but God to encourage and no evidence that his ministry was having an effect, he just kept going. The books of Jeremiah and Lamentations form a cause and effect relationship with each other. Lamentations is a five-part poem of lament over the destruction of Jerusalem and the enslaving of the Jews by the Babylonians. In the Hebrew canon, the book is called Echa, meaning how, as in, how could this have happened? Although Jeremiah warned the Israelites that judgment would fall, he still was heartbroken when he witnessed the disaster that struck. The collection of laments is easier to subdivide. Each chapter forms a separate poem. The poems themselves are highly stylized in their construction, and the first four are done in an acrostic, using each letter of the Hebrew alphabet to begin the verses. The theme of Lamentations is summed up by its title. It's a great cry of anguish concerning the destruction of Jerusalem, and the consequent sufferings of the people. Of course, the message of the book makes it clear that the destruction of the city is a vindication of the righteousness of God. The real tragedy is that the destruction could have been avoided. In sorrow, God allows his judgment to fall, but only after the people had received countless warnings. As stated earlier, Jeremiah is the longest book in the Bible for a reason. It's good to close with the fact that amid the gloom, there is a sense of hope. If God's people would respond positively to the chastening, they will be healed of their backsliding. Whom the Father loves, he chastens. And if God's people will be exercised by his judgment and forsake their sin, he will restore them and bring renewal. How we need this message applied to our hearts today. And that's our second scripture snapshot on Jeremiah and Lamentations.